Hi everybody, me again. Wanted to do a quick uh, video to show you how to set up a guest network uh, on your ASUS router. Um, guest network can be quite useful because you can control features and services that are attached to that guest network and that might be different from your main network. So to set up a guest network, uh, head over to the IP address of your router on a web browser. So in my case, it's 192.168.1.1. Yours may be different. And then just enter your login details. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you're logged in, you want to look on the left hand side for guest network and left click. Once you're in here, uh, you can see you've got a number of options. So you can create a guest network on the 2.4 gigahertz network or you can create one on the 5 gigahertz network. And you can see you can create multiple guest networks for each of the Wi-Fi uh, bandwidth. So I'm just going to do one as an example. So on the five gigahertz one, all you do is press enable. When, once you do, it will reboot the router. So let's go ahead and left click on enable. Then once the router's rebooted, go back to guest network again and now look for the guest network that you've created. So this is automatically generated uh, an SSID, um, the authentication method, the password, how long that's going to be up and running. So the default is 24 hours and whether or not you can uh, allow the guest users to access your local area network. So to edit anything, just click left click on the details and that opens up all the parameters that are available for you to configure. Uh, so this is the first of the guest networks. As I said, you can have multiple of them. You can decide whether or not you want to hide the SSID. I'd suggest no, leave that on so that your guests can find it. You could change if you wanted to the name uh, of the guest network. Uh, I'll just leave that as standard. Then uh, the authentication method, you can choose which one. I'd go for the recommended. WPA, WPA2 personal encryption. Again, you've got some options. I just leave that as a yes. You might want to change the password if you want to, but you can change the time. So here you can select the number of days or just do it in hours or minutes, uh, or you can have it switched on for an unlimited time to keep that up and running. So that could be example uh, could be useful, for example, if you want to create a separate network where you want to keep devices separate from your main local area network. Um, so it might be cameras, for example, you might want those on a separate network. This would be one way of doing that. Uh, I typically set a time and use the guest network just when friends are coming around. Uh, but this one's also useful. So access to the intranet. So this is access to your local area network. So if you enable that, they can browse uh, on your local area network. So one of the advantages of a guest network is that you can disable that. So you can keep it for internet access only. If you're running a mesh network, you can decide whether the guest network runs on the core router and the mesh network. So you can decide all nodes or not. I'm not running a mesh, so mine's router only. And you can also decide if you want to do MAC filtering to let certain devices on or not. So once that's done, just press apply and that will have rebooted uh, your router again. So once that comes back to the landing page, click back on guest network and scroll down and you'll see that the uh, the guest network is up and running so that's nice and simple you can create as many as you want so there's another two slots here that you can use for five gig and you've got some here that you can use to create for uh, 2.4 gigabit uh, gigabit devices one of the things you could do for example if you've got some iot smart home devices typically they use 2.4 gigahertz if you don't want them on your main network you could use the guest network uh, to do that just by enabling one of these and then just search for the SSID that you create and then connect those devices to it. Anyway, that's nice and simple. Hope you find that helpful. If you do, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that uh, notification button so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.